don't seem to be streaming for one reason or another. <clears throat> Ah, here we go. Let me see if I can actually... I usually turn this off. Oops, there we go. Hello, testing. Are we on? I'm not hearing myself. This may not be a good sign. Hmm. Oh, I have to do that to hear myself, I think. Okay. This may not be a good sign. There we go. All right. It's working. Yay. Okay. <laughs> uh, all righty. So at the end of a weird week, we've got something unusual for you here tonight, boys and girls. If there's any ladies out there. Going to be live streaming. <clears throat> and those of you that are watching this uh, on tape later, uh, glad you're there. Uh, a game that's four and a half years old. I just looked it up right before the live stream started. Uh, this is Decisive Campaign's Barbarossa, and it seems like it was a lot longer than just four and a half years ago. It came out in November of 2015. It is, um, yeah, it covers Operation Barbarossa, so there's been like, how many games have done that? Like a bazillion, but no other game, I don't think, has covered it like this. Uh, this game is actually more probably about the politics and the relationships of the generals and it is about the actual fighting on the ground although you do both now there's tons of options fog of war which i put on um hide ai moves i didn't put that on historical uh yeah, let's see what's it say the game restricts itself to dispositions and strategies of an historical nature. This doesn't guarantee an historical outcome, but it does provide foundation for one. Without this option, selected, recommended, the game will provide enhanced replayability within the bounds of what was reasonable. So, actually, let's check that. Just for this one, Mild Winter, forget that. Geneva Convention, here's one of the controversial aspects to this. Uh, obviously, we all know that the war in the Eastern Front was savage and brutal. If you deselect this option, you get a much more realistic, dirty war where you will find yourself having to deal with an additional moral dimension to the game. Note that this has been specifically included to highlight the difficulties of operational command, not to promote a particular viewpoint one way or another. Controversial topics have been excluded, but if you have strong views in this area, it's highly recommended that you ask everyone concerned to act as gentlemen. Leave the Geneva Convention option selected. Um, obviously, I have strong views about these things, uh, but I don't know. I don't want easy mode. I don't want tougher Soviets, that's for, that's for sure. Free setup, no. Uh, Imperial measurements, no. Decisions limited. Decisions off. Uh, decisions play a huge part in this game. We'll leave it as is. The War Diary, actually... Uh, I will take that off. Just a waste of time. I'm not going to read after every turn. It's a, it's a hypothetical, theoretical, fictional. Let's say, let's use that word, fictional. Um, German soldier, and you get to read about his journey on the Eastern Front, and what happens to him, and if you mess up too badly, he gets killed. And so there you go. So, but we don't really want to do that. So. <sighs> Let's uncheck it, because if we're going to try to be historical, there you go. Now, this game, um, like I said, it's very unusual. And you don't, for those of you that want to just jump right in and start fighting, boy, are you going to be disappointed, because that's not what's going to happen. As you can see here, you get a special pre-start turn, or as I would call this, turn zero. Uh, it would be wise to choose a strategy, check the report tab, summon to Berlin, or you could delegate the paperwork, ignore everything else, and just get on with the war. You can do that, but of course, most people aren't going to. So uh, we'll just take care of that. Let's go to reports. Let's go to... And by the way, you'll notice the interface here does look old, to my mind. Um, uh, 
it's it's one of the unfortunate things about this game, I think. I wish the interface could be redone, but oh well. The Fear has requested your presence in Berlin in order to agree upon strategy for Operation Barbarossa. Transport will be provided, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to make a decision. And here we go. This is the decision module. Here's the thing that you got to decide upon. Now, you can get all kinds of things like um, information on this, like the Fuhrer. Okay, or um, help support Hitler. If you agree unconditionally to support the Fuhrer's strategy and ambitions in the East, this option is considered the easiest. He'll be pleased and uh, your relationship with him will be good, which pays off because you get political points and you need political points, PPs, to do things in this game. And when you run out of them, then you ain't going nowhere. So that's the, this is sort of the brown nosing, <laughs> you know, being a yes man, kissing his butt to get stuff that you need approach. Then there's actually um, more military things. Moscow or bust, which if I was going to choose one that I actually would like to play out, it would be this one because uh, I remember right after college, I guess it was, I read... Um, started reading books by German generals and uh, Heinz Guderian's was one of the first and he really convinced me, you know, go for Moscow. <laughs> uh, whether that's actually a good idea or not, you can certainly argue, but that's kind of the way I would like to do. Now, this is fine if Hitler decides to do Moscow, but if he decides something else, then that lowers the number of PPs you're going to get. Military independence. Uh, this is telling Hitler, hey, your job's due to the big stuff. You let us fight the war. Yeah. Uh, that's really not probably going to happen. And anyone that was saying that to Hitler is probably not going to do very well. And then uh, operational cost breakdown. So if I support Hitler's plans, it doesn't cost me a thing. Moscow, so there you go. So here we go. So what am I going to decide then? Whoops, make a decision. I... <laughs> I, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Uh, it's hard for me to decide these things. If I'm smart, I'm going to do the support Hitler's plan, which you're going to do anyway, right? Because he's going to make you. So, all right, we're going to surrender some pride here and do this. <laughs> the Fuhrer is mightily pleased that you have recognized his wisdom. Oh, yes. And he'll give you whatever support you want. He's satisfied your chances, your strategy. Okay, so I get plus 70 PPs. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now you got to start selecting the routes at which each of the army groups is going to, well, at least army group north and center, are going to take. Okay, the Eisentrupper construction battalions are standing by to convert Russian rail to standard gauge, suitable for German locomotives. Advanced planning is crucial. We need to know which of the initial routes you wish the construction battalions to work on here, General Brust. This, there will be opportunities to change routes later, but it is essential that we are able to prepare and plan. Okay, that makes sense. So, you got three choices. Uh, convert the Canis Riga Narva line. This is for Army Group North. You can convert the Canis, whatever that is, uh, Luga line. Or you can do nothing. Uh, I actually think that. Um, Let's look at the option. Um, well, yeah. Okay. It says here relationship zero. So either way, it doesn't really matter much. Um, close that. Oh, pfft. yeah. Make a decision. Let's do this one. That's a little further center. Okay. They're underway. Uh, some op some cooperation with Army Center may be necessary. Okay, good. These guys are pleased. These guys are pleased. That's good. So now we've got Army Group Center. This is a much easier decision for me to make because I think the only one that you really can make is Minsk, Smolensk. So we're going to do that. And uh, workshop facilities. As it stands, Barbarossa will be commencing with one-fifth of the gross transport, whatever, their trucks. So what do we got to decide here? 
Uh, lobby hard for improved workshop facility, 75% chance of a good outcome. That cost me 12. Highlight the need for better workshop facilities, 25% chance. That cost me four. And uh, make it clear you are happy with how things are. In other words, lie and suck up. <laughs> um, you know, I think we'll we'll highlight the needs. And well, that's only 90, 25%. This is 75%, but it costs a dang much. Uh, all right, probably a bad idea. Your efforts have been successful. Workshop facility has been upgraded. Oh, nice. Wagner's pleased. Yodel is upset. That's not good, but oh well. All right, so all of that's done. Um, hurrah. Yeah. Yeah, we already did that. Go away. So all that's done. All right. So then you can look over your order of battle if you want to, which I don't. There's statistics, which nothing is happening right now. All kinds of tabs across here you can do things with. So, whew, okay, having gone through all that. And by the way, if you don't like this thing down here, because it takes up space on your desktop, obviously, you can do that and it'll disappear. Normally I keep it up because it has information you'll need, as you'll see when we get into combat. So let's go. Yeah, I'm sure. Now, one thing I want to make really, really, really clear here. I have not played this game in a couple of years, at least probably three minimum. Uh, you can go back in my early videos in the Wargaming Guy and see me play this, well, try to play this game and get clobbered by the Russians. I am not, I repeat again, not a professional. I'm not very good at this. So please keep that in mind when we start. Okay, blah, 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 from, we don't need to read that. All right, here's what Hitler decided to do. Dang it. Leningrad is priority one. Destroy Army Gooch HQs is two. Rostov is three. And poor old Moscow is four. Bummer. Dude. That's not what I was hoping for. I wanted to go for Moscow. Okay, here's some of the more. You have not yet got to start fighting yet. You've got to go through and just pick command focus cards and siege artillery and decide and assign artillery theater support. You had to deal with the Luftwaffe and there's other things. And you thought commanding the war would be fun. Well, you were wrong. Okay, so this is the initial setup. As you can see, it's all pretty standard. So before we jump in, though, and I know it's so, so tempting. That's what the units look like a little bit up close. You can that's as close as you can get. Uh, go to reports. Here you go. All right. Reports are in from the three Luftwaffe commanders. It appears our initial air offensive has been outstanding. In fact, it's hard to believe the extent of our vic victories, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we, of course, we've got to keep going. So you need to make a decision on that. So do we cancel the air offensive? Good enough. That's 12 MPPs. Uh, do we maintain for uh, the offensive for four more days? That's eight. To do it eight more days is four, and to let it go 12 more days. Now, realize by doing this, they're not going to be around. You're going to have the Luftwaffe support for your ground attacks the longer this goes on. And obviously, you know, the first few days are critical. Um, it's I'm either going to do one of these. I, I As much as I'd love to have air support first turn, uh, you want to make sure you keep the Russians down, right? So... But not too far down. So we're going to do that. The offensive will continue to target transport choke points, command bunkers, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So there you go. All right. Security divisions. Uh, make a decision. All right. What we've got is three divisions of the 102nd Rear Area Army are tasked with security, which are currently busy mopping up the remnant of Russian detachments, you know, in the rear uh, in this capacity, they're performing admirably, but I would give consideration to switching them over to policing and anti-partisan duty so that we don't want to risk our supply lines. Okay, so we can swap them immediately for 10. We can leave them there for another week for six. You can do a fortnight for six. You can leave on mop-up detail for another month. That's zero. Cleaning up the stray Russian military detachments must take priority. 
So we'll do this because it's sort of cheaper. Okay, Von Bach is pleased. So that's nice. Now you think, okay, we're done. But no, actually you're not because we have cards in this game. And as you can see, we've got a lot of cards to deploy. So let's start with artillery. Artillery, you get one for each army group. So uh, play the card. Okay, here's where you can put your artillery. You can give it to an army HQ, which will then dispose, you know, do it as it um, chooses, or you can actually give it to an individual division. Hey, Harry, uh, I agree. It's, um, it's a good system. It's clunky to play, and it's very challenging. Uh, this is not for the faint of heart, as it were. So I think we're going to give it to these guys. Okay. Um, artillery for Army Group Center. Here again, here's the HQs that can get it or the divisions that can get it. I wish they'd let me give this to the Panzer units, but they will not. So we'll give it to the 4th Army. Or is it the 9th that I want? No. Um, yeah, let's give it to the 4th Army. Okay, now we've got uh, artillery for Army Group South. And I think what we'll do, boy, they got a lot of units down here, is we'll give it to the 17th. And finally, siege artillery. Uh, order your dedicated heavy siege artillery to invest a location. It requires a division uh, adjacent to the city on the rail line, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now this is where... You get to move around on this little map. And as you can see, you can put it up here to help you take Brest Litovitsk. So we're going to do that. All right. It's the easy part. But yet, yeah. posture. Now you have different postures in the game. Blitzkrieg, uh, sustained, which is offensive. And then, of course, on the defensive. Obviously, it's the first turn. You're going to want Blitzkrieg. But who you assign this to depends on your relationship with the commander. So let's see what we can do here. It, this little map seems to move easier using the arrow keys for me. So I cannot play the card on my Panzer group. Yeah, I got it. Cannot play the card there. 18th Army, I cannot play. I cannot play the card anywhere. Hmm. Well... I mean, I'm pretty sure you have to play this on HQs. And it's, oop, I think my stream may have been interrupted here. Hold on. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's coming back, though, maybe. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with my internet tonight? Well... Shoot, I'm waiting for this to come back. I don't want to do anything while it's gone. And there's really nothing I can do here. So I don't know if it's just my reception of this or... Let's see. Oh, no, this is working. So apparently it was just my phone is having problems. Sorry. All right, we're going to skip Army Group North for now for see what's going on. We'll come back to that. Okay, Army Group Center. Again, if I was going to give it, I'd give it to the whole Army Group, or I'd certainly give it to Second Panzer, but I can't play the card there. Fourth Army, I can't play the card. How about Ninth Army? I can't play the card. Third Panzer Group. I can't play the card. Um, yeah, this is a little weird. Okay, hold on. How about if we take Sustained? Can we do that to Army Group Center or North? Wish they wouldn't start us back here, but they do. Here we go. Ah. 
Now I can play that card. Or are they starting? Wait a minute. What is their posture? They may actually be starting defense in blitz. They probably are. So let's just not worry about that. We've got some resupply things here, which we don't need right now. So we'll let it go. Yes, Evil Six, it's been a while. <laughs> hey, um, someone requested I do this. So I thought, what the heck? I'm not, as I said earlier, for those of you coming in late, I'm not very good at this game. But it is a game I think that's really been overlooked by a lot of people. So thought I'd give it a shot tonight. And if it goes halfway decent, um, we can do more. Um, I have played this before. If you go back way to the beginning of my channel, a couple, like three years ago, I did play uh, some of this game, and I got my butt kicked. And Army Group Center was nearly surrounded when I quit the game. <laughs> it was around Minsk. It was sad. So here we go. Okay, now the way you do attacks in this game is you click the Defender, and then you click this little thing for the attack. Kind of reminds me of my logo, doesn't it? Uh, and then you decide, you know, from adjacent units who you want to attack it. And you can just, you can either click like that unit there or just hit your, what I do is I just hit my space bar and it goes on and off. So if I think I want this guy to go, we'll do that. Now here's what you look at. 146, 200 versus 69. And you'll notice that when you do a concentric attack, uh, you that is from you know kind of surrounding it more than one direction whatever you get a bonus no bonus here sadly but I think that should be enough so and there is the all button by the way if you just want to hit everybody in reach attack let's see what we do here now you can see what's happening here he's got to retreat for those of you that like detail you can check all this out and look at that or you can even look at it this way so for those of you that are really into the nuts and bolts, <laughs> boy, do you get it. Okay, I don't usually pay too much attention to that. That's just my play style. Uh, can we move? Yes, we can. That's good. All right. So now, obviously, we want to break out in Army Group North. Uh, there's Riga, but we also want to get over here to um, probably to... Uh, Dagavilpis, or however you say that, on to Ostrov and Piskov and up towards Leningrad, unless we want to just go straight up the coast through Riga. Either way, you can do whatever you want. Um, so let's see how we're going to get there now. Back to the game, sorry. Um, now, I don't usually do tutorial type things, but in this case, I thought it might be fun. Okay, so here we go. Click him. Can I do you? Okay, so you're just not available. When you don't have enough MPPs or enough movement, not MPPs, but enough movement points, you don't get to attack. Uh, what would it be? 200 versus 134. 200. 219, 200 versus. That's weird. All right, well, let's try that. Okay, they're retreating. And again, you want to take a look at this. When you watch the playback of this, I'll try and reload this uh, load this into my regular stream tomorrow. Um, you can uh, take your time and read all that. All right, so we pushed them back. We didn't destroy them, though, which would have been nice. Let's see, can this guy move? He can, so let's move him up there. Little flank support. All right, we'll pull you up pull you up now let's just try the all button to see what happens because i think we're only going to get oh no i get those two infantry units and it's 200 versus 30 woo that should be a walk over ah uh, i prefer the graphic myself just because it makes it nice and simple you can see tanks and stuff and whatever there you go all right so he's still alive but we pushed him back um Let's see if we can attack him. Ah, he does. He still has some juice left. Boom! Pushed him back. And yes, you can make it. But probably can't attack, right? I'm sure he can't. It'd be like a minor miracle if he had anything left. But he does! I'm gonna wear the Totenkopf down to nothing, but uh oh ooh. 
Okay, he broke. So that means he just shattered. He's disappeared. He's gone. Awesome. That's really a nice outcome. When you can get it, which isn't always very often. This, by the way, is the HQ. Of course, you want to keep your HQs close to your guys. Now, let's just try this. See if we can get this guy out of the way, then we'll have a hole that we can use, even though we've already used up pretty much. Do! Oh, that's not 79 versus 102. Yeah, that's really bad. So we're not going to do that. So you deselect. Um, all right, we'll just do this for now. Shoot, that's not what I wanted, people. Okay, what about you? Sometimes I'll just do it this way too. Get them all. And then it's like, okay, so I don't really, maybe if I don't need that many or I don't want that many, I'll just say, nope, I don't want you. And so that's 198 versus, yeah, we'll try that. They're retreating. That's awesome. Yes, he can move up. Very nice. Um... Ooh, didn't want to do that. Well, we'll fix that in a minute. <laughs> I hope. Uh, yeah. And it's concentric, so we should get some... Yes! Unfortunately, they didn't break, which is what I wanted to see them do. Actually, if I can take Lapaya, why? Oh, no, can't do it. All right. Well, shoot. That makes me a little exposed. Okay, well, it's no big thing. Okay. So, I'm going to give North kind of, nah, you know, it's not like the greatest opening ever in the history of the world, but it will do. Now, one thing I didn't mention, see this red dotted line here? This is the army group boundary. If you take army group centered troops and cross over into north or north to south, you get penalized. They, that's a no-no, so don't do it because they will be mad at you. All right, let's move our HQ up. And he's with the 18th Army, so we'll put him right there. Put you up there. Okay, so now the 16th Army is part of Army Group North. So that means they've got to stay north of this line. So since we're kind of set up to attack this guy. Now you'll notice that we've got guys in Army Group Center attacking. You can attack across it. You just can't move across it. So it's 438. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's... That's probably more than you need, but all right, we'll, we'll take it. All right, excellent. Yeah, see, I'm already, if I click and move him over, that's a bozo no-no. So don't do it. I've done it. That's why I'm telling you that. Yes, I've done it. It's not good. Okay, we're not exactly setting the world on fire here, but oh well. What do we got? Okay, we got a couple infantry divisions there. Let's actually move them up. And 146 to 134. That. It's about as good as I... Well, we could throw you in. And then they retreated. I'd much rather see them break, but they don't seem to want to do that. Now, the Russians are not bound by this line, by the way. They can cross, which means you have to... 
be aware of that. Don't leave your flank open. Don't, oh, the line will protect me because no, it will not either. Okay, so it looks like Army Group North is pretty much moved out, moved up, moved on, whatever. Um, so what do we got here? Uh, yeah, let's try that. Because one of the good things about this game, and it's very realistic, is it forces you to maintain boundaries between uh, armies, you know, and, and, or in this case, army groups, which is, of course, a real thing in the military. But a lot of, you know, war games, it's actually not a real game. So it's not a real thing. It doesn't really count for much. So uh, I like the fact that, that um, they make you do that. Okay, um, we want to knock this guy out of the way so these guys can get here and start heading towards Minsk, which is where we want them to go, maybe through Vilnius. Uh, I thought about swinging them this way, but there's no roads. We'd take it on the rail line would, I think, be a lot better. So, 219 versus 60. Yeah, I, I want to make sure we get through here. Bam. Okay, we did. Didn't set the world on fire again, but we got through. Okay, good. Oof. You can see these units are getting a little bigger and a little stronger. So like this guy, if we did all, that's 292 or 65. That's worth it. We can push him back using our infantry. That's awesome. And we did. So now, cut that rail line. Well, actually. Let's just pull through here to get some flanking on this. these guys attack I didn't think so 27 to 73 to get let's try that how do you know how your troops stack up against an enemy regiment before you attack okay um, it's all in that number I told you to look for let me show you here in a second you press M to move them by the way so we got Gordino that's good can't go there which is where I want to go what about you? Can you go there? No. Okay, let's do an, Let's do this as an attack. Okay, so I'm going to attack here. So I click this. Then I, this, I want this guy to attack, so I select him by pressing the space bar. Now look here. 73 out of 200. 200 is the max you can get out of one um, hex. And he's 67. So obviously that's basically one-to-one. -one. Don't really think that's a great idea. Can these guys join in? No, they're they're done. So now let's come over here. He'll join in. And now it's 146 to 67. And if we want even more, we'll drop him in. So now we're 219. So we're actually over. The, if you go too far over this limit, you actually hurt yourself because you've it's like too many units trying to attack on a on a small frontage. So you don't want to do that. And he retreats. Beautiful. And while I'm thinking about it, let's move him up here. And you, let's put you up here. So next turn we can start. hate to go through the woods, but that's what we're going to have to do. All right, bring you up here. And let's see what we got. You notice these are divisions. These are divisional units here. You do get some smaller ones, I think, in the game. But the basic unit of maneuver, at least at this point, is um, divisions. All right. Let's attack. 156, 67. That should do it. You'll notice I've done a terrible job of trying to break through and encircle these guys. 
like I said, this this is not my best game by any stretch of anybody's imagination, including my own. Let's see if we can't. Well, wait a minute here. Let's see. Let's slide down here for a second. We've got breast, of course, right here, where you've got some big time stuff in there. Do you want to break through here too, or right along this front? So let's see what we can do here. Seventy-three versus thirty-eight. Yeah, that should take care of that quite nicely. Okay. Let's move somebody forward. See, if I move him forward, he's probably not going to be able to attack. Let's see if any of these guys can attack. Yes, they both can. Awesome. Retreated and didn't destroy him, but, you know, take what we can get. So that leaves this guy. And if I click all... Yeah, that's about what you want. He's retreating. When you surround guys, then you can really pummel them and kill them, but it takes some work to do that. Let's throw this guy over here and this guy here so we can start to cut this off. Um, this guy... That should do it. Do you think the other games in the series are good too? I've heard they don't have the story or decision events at all. They, they, I, it's been a long, even longer time since I played those. Um, they're different. They're kind of the same, but they're different. <laughs> if that makes any sense. They don't have all these decision events and all this kind of stuff. I think they're good games, um, but. They're not. Uh, they're not like this. This was the culmination of those. You know, they were building as on these games as they went along, and this was sort of the culmination. And I had really hoped they would continue this, but they did not, unfortunately, because I think it. You know, it really had. You know, a long way to go. I think they could have done a lot of good with it, but just they chose not to for whatever the reasons, and I'm sure they had good reasons. I don't know, I Chris, I don't know anything about sales figures or anything else, so you know, who knows? Alright, let's see if we can knock these guys out. Oh. So it's four hundred and forty seven concentric ten percent woo. Alright, this should be interesting. I am throwing every oh they panicked, that's awesome. But okay, one should no, they stood their ground. Ah, Alright. We're going for it again. No, they used it. Really? Everybody used up everything? Oh. Okay, wait. Can you still move? You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Wow. I had no idea that would happen. Um, Can I move him here? No, he can't move. What about you? You can move. What? You can't move? Really? No. Ah, you can, but then you won't be able to attack, so there's no point in doing that. All right, Panzer boy. Um, you know what? I think we're just going to see if we can get rid of this guy and push on and um, see if we can't take breast next turn. All right. They pushed forward a little bit. Beautiful. You know what? I'm going to do this. Then we get really close to circling these guys. And in fact, they're encircled. Awesome. So their 10th army is now encircled around Blystock or however you pronounce that. My pronunciation of Russian, by the way, is like horrible and terrible and bad. And no offense to anybody out there who actually knows what they're saying. And again, here's the boundary now, now between center and south. Got to pay attention to that. Or you'll get in trouble, which I have done in past games. Let's see who can take this guy on. Who have we got? 
Ooh. Okay, we clearly don't need all these guys. <laughs> so let's take you out and you out. And that's still 78 versus 14. Come on. All right, he was destroyed. Awesome. So there you go. Now, does anybody have anything left is the question. He doesn't. He does. He does not. Ooh, okay. What about you do? Good. I want to keep my flanks covered here. So do you. Okay. Not bad. Let's bring you... Well, you're not going up, so there you go. Okay, so we have encircled. So that's good. Um... And now we can maybe focus on reducing this pocket a little bit. Um, kind of used a lot of these guys. We do have Fourth Army here, and they've got a couple of units in reserve. Let's start with him. I'd love to get to the uh, HQ. Really? Nobody can attack him? Nobody can attack you? No. Well, let's not start with him. Let's start with him. <laughs> and that's yeah we better throw another one in there just to make sure all right he retreated they don't have very far to go but well might help if i use the right key here there we go oh and my hq for panzer group 2 heinz get your butt up there baby okay now can anybody attack this guy? I'd like to get him out of the way. No. He is like the magic hex where nobody can get him. Good for him. Um, but we might. Now can somebody nail him? Can these two infantry guys? Yes. 146 to 30. They should push him out of the way. Look at that. Yes. Really? Okay, hold on. None of these guys? Ah, he can. So that's good. So let... Well, I might as well put you there. Probably can't attack. Oh, and he's sitting on top of the HQ now. Dang, now it... All right, not too surprising. Um... Let's go ahead and actually let's just take this guy on. See if anybody can do anything to him. No. So what about this guy? This guy have a lot of people attacking him. Like you and you. That should get us concentric. Oh yeah, he's gone. He retreated, but he's out of the picture as far as anything military go. Really? Oh, wrong one. Let's slide you over here. So this stack of big juicy boys, who can get them? Oh, lots of people. 365 versus... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry if the stream... This I, I must be having... My internet must not be doing too well tonight. I've had a couple of... Uh, of slowdowns with the stream, so I'm sorry about that, guys. It's really, you know, you know the score. Not much you can do about it um, when those kind of things happen. So, anybody left that can attack these guys? No. Any? Oops. Hold on. How about you? Anybody left? No. I think I pretty much petered out on attacks here, but I've worn them way down, so that's good. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. We'll make that pocket smaller. I like, no, not with you, we won't. Come on. All right, do I have to use. What about you? Do I really have to use you? I guess I do. Didn't want to. Wanted to keep my panzers pointed in the direction I want them to go. That's 77 versus no. 
Yeah, you do not want to do 77 versus 90. Bad idea. Bad. So, um, what are these guys? These are, uh, there's a ninth army. Let's just move them up here. Let's move the HQ up here. Pull you in here. I'll try this one more time. He could attack. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it is bloody, Jevin. Um, it's the Eastern Front, so, you know, it's going to be bloody. That's for sure. And the first turn of this game, and it's a little frustrating, but I like it, actually, is is not just a walkover. And it shouldn't be, because if you know your history, you know that the Germans from the get-go had some bloody fights against the uh, against the Soviets. So, okay. Holy smokes, I've been going 45 minutes or so, and I haven't finished the first turn. That's because of that pre-turn. If you missed the pre-turn, uh, go back when this is you know saved online and watch it because that's really critical. Okay, so here's the Army Group boundary. So this guy is part of Army Group South, so they can attack. Well, everybody can attack, but you can't move anybody over here or you get into trouble. So let's see what do we got here. What if we take him out? 140. Let's hold on. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just do everybody. We've got to start peeling him out of here somehow. Okay, so we pushed him back. Now, here you go. The Soviets don't obviously have to pay any attention to our boundaries. So this guy, I can't just leave this open. Or this guy can just do whatever he wants. So... You gotta guard that boundary line and work with the other army groups in order <laughs> to keep things where they should be, right? So you gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so that's 146. Yeah, that should do it. Good, pushed him back. See if we can get you forward. All right, that's always good. I like to stay in contact with the enemy. That's not always a good idea, I know, but... And by the way, when you look here, this is the 67th Infantry Division, HQ, 6th Army. So that's how you know. When you click on 6th Army, their units light up. So if you're wondering how you keep track of who's who's, that's how you do it. And then as you click on the unit in the hex, it cycles through the units that are there. Uh, boy, let's see. So we've got 17th Army here. Uh, first Panzer Group is back here. The question is, where do you want your First Panzer Group to go? Do you want to try to, like, drive through here to Lvov? Do you want to try to swing around to go and then nail Lvov and Tarnopol? Because then you're on the road, of course, to Kiev. Um, the way they're sitting, that seems to be the best way to do it. And this is kind of open country through here, so... I'm actually not sure what the best idea is, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, that's 219 versus 67. What if I take one out? Well, you know what? Let's just attack with all of them. Maybe I can really rip this guy up. Or maybe not. Okay, so... Forward. Um, we need to get rid of this guy. That's 144, 67. Let's add one more just to play it safe. And again, you can you can if you really want to get into the weeds here, you can see that the Germans had 120, 75 millimeter, and the blah blah blah. You can do the whole thing. So and there's 120 left alive. So you can you know, all the stuff, all the details that you want pretty much are there if you, you know are the kind of person that really loves to get into the weeds like that. Um, all right. You know what? Let's see what we can do here. Yes. And the HQ. Good. We drove the HQ back, maybe disrupted it. That would be very cool. 
can we attack it and its little pal? Let's see. Yes. A little tight, but we'll do it. We pushed him back. We probably paid for it, but... Now, you know, how overextended you want to get is up to you. Uh, I may be way uh, too much overextended here. That's obviously going to depend on who you ask. There's my Panzer unit. You know, this guy would be nice to get rid of, wouldn't he? Who can attack this guy? He is really a pain. Nobody! And there's two of them. Okay. All right. So... That's not what I wanted to do, but... Now, let's see what we can do. Uh, yeah, we don't want... You can put HQs in the attack, but it's not a good idea unless you're desperate because it's going to... You know, you're going to hurt your HQs. And you don't want to do that. Nice. Can you move? You can, but... Let's do this. Let's get the Vikings, bring them up here. You can't move. You can go forward. I've already got the HQ sitting way up here, so that's not a problem. Then there's you. Um, let's see if we can get one more attack here. Just with that. 70? No, no, no. Don't want to do that. No one to one attacks here, boys. Uh, oh, but wait, he said. Now let's try it. That's more like it. Good. Pushed him back. Didn't destroy them, but, you know, still did good. I don't suppose any of you guys could. Well, you can get there. That would be helpful, actually. All right, so now down here, I want to see if I can cave these guys in um, and, you know, start to and maybe drive down this way if I can. Start to do some pincer movement down here. So let's see what happens here. This is a big fortress, so I don't think this is going to look too good. 219 versus 131, it doesn't. So wait, we could really... Well, if we got rid of this guy, we could do more easily. Whoa, no, no, no. It's not what I wanted. So we got two cavalry units. So that's 49 versus 76. 122 versus 76. Let's just do one more. Why is the Viking division black? Because it's SS. Yes. Yeah, the black. That's the kind of traditional thing you see in war games where the bad guys wear black hats. The SS is black, which was their color, right? So, you know, it's not... I'm not complaining about it. Whoa, I overclicked. Now, let's throw everything we've got at it and get the bad news. Maybe. Let's see. Come on. Panicked and retreated. Yes. Yes, the garrison, which is this guy here, the off-color unit. He panicked. So Primzel is ours. Yes. That is awesome and excellent. And I like it. And here comes the Slovaks bringing up the rear here. A little, little bit of a reserve for me. So now, uh, well, I don't suppose I can attack you with anything else, can I? Actually, I can. Less than two to one. Probably a stupid idea. No! Two panicked and one retreated. Whoa! I was not expecting that, everybody. What about, can you guys get up here? No. Doggone it. You can't do it? You can. Very nice. And what about you? You can too. That's excellent. 
You guys can't. Well, now nah, we'll just leave you there. Okay, so these guys are, look kind of fought out, but let's see. Uh, 119 versus 97? No. <laughs> nope, not happening. What about this guy? We should be able to get something concentric on these guys. Uh, for, yeah, I wouldn't even think we don't even need to use all that. Let's do that. All right. They retreated. Awesome. Let's see what we can get here. Whoa. Yeah, versus 30. Seriously. That's even that's way too much. But I guess we'll go ahead and. Oh. There. Okay, we got him to retreat. You still. I didn't even know you were there. That shows you how much I'm paying attention. You know what? Maybe it's not so bad to just leave one down here to help push through down here. Maybe that's a good idea. Let's see what we can do here. I like to get him where you can get the concentric attacks. That does help you a little bit. Yes. All righty. So we are pushing them back, but we're not breaking through anywhere, really. Well, we have a little bit, sort of, but not like I would have liked to have done. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to be happening. Okay, Romania. I don't really think these guys can. I don't think they're... Are they eligible to? No, they're not eligible to do anything yet. It's that's that delay that was historically built in, right? Yeah. So we don't have to worry about that. By the way, this is my relationships with everybody. I'm doing good with the boss. Neutral with von Brauchowitz. Garing, I'm neutral with. I'm neutral with von Lieb in the north. I'm neutral with von Bach in the center. I'm good for some reason with von Rundstedt in the south. And I'm good with the trains. And I'm neutral with the trucks. By the way, these two guys here... One of the stupidest ideas the Germans ever came up with was to separate trains from trucks instead of having transportation. So these two guys hated each other. We're always trying to one-up one another. And generally speaking, if one of them likes you, the other one probably won't. So that means if your trains are getting good and your trucks won't and when vice versa and you need them all. and So it's kind of a drag, but there you go. Um, and this gives you this uh, extra data sheet and a score, which is... Soviet score is 126. The German score is zero. Justin score is zero. I guess maybe I have to complete a whole turn to get a, a complete score. So I believe I've done everything. Um, why, why isn't the map scrolling out? Hmm. Not sure what's going on here. It's weird. Oh. I'm still in attacker mode. That's why. Okay, there we go. So, whoa. You can zoom way out, by the way, if you want to know. And there is a strategic map that you can look at. And um, when you don't want to see it anymore, you can do that. And there's a mini map for you to jump around on if you like that. So you got all kinds of things to help you out here. And lots of help. Lots and lots and lots of help if you want it. It's okay, so I think we've pretty much done the first turn, so let's go ahead and let the AI take over. Let's zoom in just a little bit and see what happens. Are you sure you want to end your turn? Yes, I am. What will the AI do? We'll find out. It's prepping the AI initialization. And it, sometimes it can be fast, sometimes it can be slow. It's slow right now. Here we go. By the way, the AI will attack when it thinks, you know, it wants to or whatever. It's not super passive necessarily. 
It's also pretty darn good at picking its shots on occasion, like it was when it kicked my booty. But you'll notice right now, of course, it's time to run away. They can always come back another day. And you'll notice what they're doing, pulling up this highway here, this rail line, to towards Riga, to right where I want to be. They're going to block it. So, if you thought this turn was complicated, next turn's going to be a lot more. Interesting. They see... Oh, they attacked. They attacked where I didn't attack them. That's interesting. They cheated attacking me down there. Not really. Just kidding. And there you go. Now you're thinking, oh man, I can't wait. I know right where I want to attack. I'm going to jump right in. And But wait, they always have these little quotes here. Guess what? Here you go. Here's all of your relationships. But now we have to do command focus cards, theater artillery cards, Luftwaffe, other things. We've got four divisions that failed to deploy, blah, blah, blah. So if you thought you was just going to be jumping in and just fighting like a regular game, you thought wrong because that's what this game is all about. So you get a Panzer Group summary. If you want to really dig into that, you can. And there you go, collecting metrics data on your gameplay. Really, I have never seen this before. They did not have this in the... Because I have the latest version of the game, and I must not... Uh, oh, sure, why not? I don't think they're ever going to do anything else with this game, but there you go. All right, guys, uh, I tell you what, I have to get up kind of early in the morning, so I hate to just quit at this point, but it's a nice time to quit because next week, at next Friday night, 9 p.m., Arizona time, that's the same thing as West Coast time. We're on California time now. I'll be back for turn two and maybe even turn three. Who knows? Because we don't have that big, huge, long turn, pre-turn to go through. If you got any thoughts or comments when you think about this, if you got any ideas about what I should do, let me know. Because as you can see down here in Army Group Center, uh, they're not running away. They've got a huge, strong line here. And they've got a line... Uh, Kind of not quite as strong that we can see. We don't know what's back here. And here in the north, look what they've done. So it's not a walkover. That's for sure. So until next time, this is the Wargaming Guy. I want to thank you so much for tuning in tonight and being there, asking the questions and participating. Uh, we'll be back, like I said, next week. By the way, Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekend, I do release all kinds of different games. So if you haven't checked out my channel, I hope you'll check it out and maybe give me a subscribe and a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. So until next time, this is the Wargaming Guy saying thanks for watching, take care out there, and I will see you later.